If you want to. I don't, I don't want to pressure you into being a cameraman. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, let's try this second one. I think we did the first one in the class today. It says, <clears throat> how many moles of ice at zero degrees Celsius, so zero degrees Celsius, that's the freezing point of ice or the melting point, right? So that's where you're going to bring in delta H fusion, right? So how many moles of ice at zero degrees Celsius could be melted with the addition of 750 kilojoules of energy? And it says that the delta H of fusion is 6.01 kilojoules per mole. So it's asking for moles, and it gives you some information. So it says the amount of heat that they're pumping into this is 750 kilojoules of energy. And they give you delta H fusion is 6.01 kilojoules per mole. And they're wondering how many moles of ice can be melted. Right? So hopefully you can see this is a simple conversion factor, right? Because we've got the conversion factor here. We're just take, changing from energy to number of moles. Okay, and we've got the conversion factor here. So number of moles of ice in this case is going to be um, one mole of ice for every 6.01 kilojoules of energy. And they're nice to us. They give it to us in kilojoules. So, like that. Everybody okay with doing something like that? Simple conversion. Cancel, cancel there. We're going to have the number of moles of ice. What is it? Okay, thank you. Okay, so three sig figs here, right? So 125, I guess, kilojoules. Okay, so that's how much, oops, no, <coughs> kilojoules, sorry, 125 moles of ice. Okay, so that's how many moles of ice that you could melt with 750 kilojoules of energy, provided the uh, delta H of fusion was 6.01 kilojoules per mole. Does that make sense? Any questions on that one? If you want to kill that one.